This is for your Kegel exercise. Kegel. We have these Kegel, Kegel, <laughs> Kegel however you want to say it, south, north, wherever. Is that <laughs> tomato or tomato? Pecan, 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 tomato, tomato. Ben Wobble. Pussy's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you can do. Ass bath. Um, <laughs> you can insert these balls up into your vagina. Let's see how heavy are they. They're not that heavy. Oh. <laughs> and but you have to clench your muscles. You got to squeeze right. and squeeze. And if you don't squeeze, um, boom, boom. they'll fall out. Yeah. Can they get lost in there? No, no. There's nowhere for them to go. It's not there's an endless tunnel of love. <laughs> right. And then once you get them up, and you and you got other control of your muscles, and what you do, you squat. And cough or just push. And then they go, <laughs> and they'll fall out. <laughs> and sure they if that doesn't work, <laughs> just go through your mouth and pee. Because you know when you pee, you, your muscles push down, they'll fall out. Into the toilet. Yes. Into well, the toilet. Yeah, I probably would pee in my hand and catch her. Because that would be better than just putting my hand Just use the strainer. The this is the key. <laughs> just use the spaghetti strainer. Yes. <laughs> you can get it at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. And what? just keep it in the bathroom and say, and put a, put a little sticky on it that says, never use in kitchen. Not for spaghetti. Right. <laughs> <laughs> These are great little balls, and you know, once you get used to being in there and you've got that control, you can also have sex with them. <gasps> and then what happens? Tell us now. Tell us now. Ting, 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 ting. Oh. Ting, 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 yes, ting. yes, yes. He will love it. He'll feel it. Ting, ting, ting. Oh. And his little penis. Ting, ting. Oh. You will have a sensation. Yes. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> and just remember, if it's the first couple of times and you do not have control, always wear your panties when you're out and about because you don't want to be that woman in Walmart that's down the cereal aisle and all of a sudden you hear ding ding and people are like, Mom, where are those balls rolling down the aisle? <laughs> <laughs> or my idea is when you wear them to the meat department at Kroger. Have you ever noticed all your customers, that's where they lose them? Yes, there they are. What? Yeah, I don't care. At the meat department at Kroger, for some reason, I've furthest, always... Furthest, uh, furthest from the entrance. Oh! That's what it all sound like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you use the bell buzz, your pussy will snap shut just like that. <laughs> and you can carry your man around with it. That's right. Yes. You are not going anywhere. <laughs> Did you do the same thing? No, let me tell you about these. These do not do the same thing. They are lighter. They have a ball inside of each one. Okay, so this is like a uh, a rip cord. Uh, you put this up in first, and then you put this one up in next, and then you leave the little rip cord hanging out. Okay, so you don't lose it. You can also duct tape it to your leg and have sex with it, and that way it doesn't go all the way in. But um, you, it hurts when you pull the duct tape off. <laughs> but anyway. You just leave the cord hanging out, okay? And then as you jiggle and walk and stuff, they bounce around inside and they clink and clank and each one is vibrating and stuff. And then you walk through the mall and you're just having a good time. You make sure you wear your high heels so you can really sway it, all right? Um, but these are more for pleasure than exercise. So the Benoit balls are more for exercise. They're heavy. You've got to work hard, you know? Um, these are more for pleasure. Also, during your orgasm, when they're inside, these are not anal beads, by the way, but we'll get into that. Um, during your orgasm, you can, oh, poof, oh, all right, and it creates better sensations, all right. These are not anal beads. They are a little large, okay, and um, and the cord is not kryptonite, so, uh, or, con I'm sorry, not kryptonite, concrete. <laughs> sorry. The cord, it, it, it I mean, it could, okay, you know what, just don't stick them up your ass. That's all I'm saying. All right, it's just not a good idea. And those are what they talked about in Fifty Shades of Grey. Right. Yes. Bin Maw Balls on a String. Yes. Right, they called them Bin Maw Balls on a String because they didn't know the word was duotone balls. But this is what was in Fifty Shades of Grey. That's why when I heard a man wrote it, I thought, I believe that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it wrong. And the cute little case you get to come and just keep them in. And you can hang these from your Christmas tree because don't they look like jingle bells? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or on your door knocker as a door knocker. <laughs> you can get several of them and they would look like wind chimes. You're right. And just think if you know you'd worn every one of the You don't have your ears pierced? <laughs> <laughs> or if you have giant nipples like mine, you just. <laughs> <laughs> you put them on there. Or, you know, you could cinch them like this, do a little cinch thing, and then, like, a little noose, a little noose around the nipple. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Anybody comes to, comes to mug you, just whack the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you've got 
them in your twat, then when someone steals your purse, you can reach down and pick it up. <laughs> and then they'll wrap around their ankle. No, if you guys crack it out, then this shit happening. No, if you got them stuck up in there, they try to rape you. Well, you're scared. They'll want to know what's going on. That's right. The balls will be up in there. That's right. You should you tell me. And I would probably go get, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Then you just, then you just, tell, them that, just tell them that you malfunction. Are, that, that malfunction. If you're a boy, a, a man, and you had that surgery, and they just stuck your balls up in, inside of it. <laughs> those are the, I'm saying, yeah. those are the balls of the last guy that raped me. <laughs> <laughs> I had them bronzed and shoved up inside me. <laughs> Do you girls have anything else y'all want to offer? We're laughing too hard. We don't know. <laughs>